Hey y'all, Chef King Knows back with another video. I hope y'all been cooking and I hope y'all been blessed. Today we are doing stuffed shells, okay? Stuffed shells, that's it. That's all we gonna do today. Stuffed shells, I'm gonna show y'all how I make my stuffed shells and how I prepare them and what I put in them, season them with, and all that good delicious stuff of that nature. So let's get into this video. So I have a big pot of boiling water going and then I have a smaller pot to cook up or heat up my red sauce. And I'm going to show y'all the ingredients that I have today. So we have ricotta. Okay. We have Parmesan Regamano. And this is like the good stuff, y'all. The good stuff, okay? This is the good stuff. All right. I have here my favorite one of my favorite cooks okay pioneer woman italian sausage and pepper pasta sauce okay shout out to pioneer woman i am not getting paid or you know she's not sponsoring me i just genuinely love her so yes that's what we have and i have two jars i have two eggs and that will be for our mixture with our ricotta and cheese mixture. I have mozzarella. I have some strained spinach here. I strained it, squeezed it out, made sure all the water was out of it. And it's still draining. See that? Still draining. You want to make sure all your moisture is out the spinach or it will make your ricotta mixture wet, okay? And then I have the jumbo shells, all right? And we're going to get cooking, y'all. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put our sauce in the pot so it can heat up. And get all nice and bubbly and delicious. So hold one sec. Yeah. So you want to make sure and sit your ricotta out for a little bit so it can get a little soft. So it'll be easy to mix up and everything like that. All right. So what I have here, egg. Crack the egg in. And that's what we have. All right. And then from there, I'm going to add my spinach. Okay. We have spinach here. And you're just going to shred it off. If you guys hear my dogs, I apologize. My boy dog is in heat. So you know what that means. And my girl dog is not. So, y'all know what I'm saying. All right. Shred it all off. And we're gonna mix these three ingredients together. Okay, get that started. Now, if I was making a lot, I would use two eggs, but it's not. I'm not making a whole lot, guys. So one egg is good. One large egg is plenty. Okay. Fresh Parmesan. 
add a nice amount, about half the jar, okay? We have some sea salt here. About a teaspoon. Same with the pepper. About a teaspoon. All right? looking guys I was looking garlic and parsley y'all know what this is by now right mix that on together you guys what this looks like mixed together doesn't look too appealing at the moment you know but um it tastes amazing i can i'll, I'll reinsure that all right so this is our mixture that we have okay that's the ricotta the spinach, the egg, the seasonings, and the fresh Parmesan. All right. And last but not least, I want to add a little bit of mozzarella into our mixture. About a handful. That's all you need, guys. Because we're going to be adding some more onto the top once we fill them, okay? All right. And our mixture is done. All right, so now, we're gonna wait for our shells to finish cooking. And our spaghetti pasta sauce, our pasta sauce is heating up, it's starting to simmer. Do the little simmer, the little bubbly bubblies. So that's what we have going on now. So I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll come back once our shells are done being cooked in the pot and our pasta sauce is complete. So you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna wash my hands, okay? All right, y'all. So everything's done. Our noodles are done. Show you guys. These are our noodles, okay? Our sauce is done. All right, so first I wanna do is put some sauce at the bottom of our pan so it does not stick when you put it in the oven. And I'm putting a generous amount, okay? Basically, I'm covering the bottom. All right, now, Grab my first piece of shell, it's my first jumbo shell, and I'm gonna take a spoon, clean spoon, I'm gonna scoop some of the filling and put it into our shell. You don't wanna overstuff them because they'll come spilling out when you put them into the oven. So about a good spoonful is good. And there you have it. Okay, that's our first one. 
and I'm gonna do the rest. put our stuffed shells in and now we're going to top with cheese okay top it with cheese and then we're going to put sauce on top of that all right. sure everybody has plenty of sauce. Alright. And then a little bit more on top of the mozzarella. And then your parmesan on top of that. Now, this can also be a vegetarian dish. So, my sauce has sausage in it. You can get sauce that's just plain tomato sauce. And um, they have vegan ricotta, vegan cheese, and things like that. So, you definitely can make this dish vegan, veg like, you know, vegetarian, those who don't eat meat but still eat seafood you can stuff your shells with crab shrimp lobster um salmon you can do as well so comment below if you want to see me do a seafood stuff show as well so these are going to go into the oven at 355 degrees for about 20 minutes all right because our our shells are not all the way cooked, just cooked enough where I can handle them. And they're going to finish cooking in the oven. All right. So these are going into the oven, guys. Hey, y'all. So while everything is in the oven and cooking, I just wanted to talk to y'all for a second. I know right now with everything that's going on, it's hard, guys. I understand. And it's especially hard for the black community because of all the nonsense killing that is occurring with our police officers. Now, I said I wasn't going to really talk about it, but it's affecting people that I love and people around me. Okay? So, with that being said, Guys, just pray about it. God will fix all things. You just have to believe. And those of you who believe in another higher power, they will fix it, okay? It will be fixed. Taking things into your own hands is only going to make things worse for not only yourself, but us as a community. There... They like that they can kill us. 
they like that we kill each other and we need to stop because this is exactly what they want. Exactly what they want. I'm sorry, once again, my dogs are in heat. So I'm not trying to preach to you guys or tell you guys what to do or anything like that. I just want you guys to be safe. I love y'all and I genuinely care about each and every one of you guys and our community and our nation. Now, yes, I do live in Columbus, Georgia now, but I was born and raised purebred in Philadelphia, okay? And the things that I've seen that's happening in Philadelphia right now is sad. It's so sad. It's really sad. I understand you guys are outraged, upset, angry, all the above. Not only have y'all been cooped up in the quarantine, then these back-to-back -back killings with these cops is not making it any better. But are y'all making it better too? I don't agree with nothing that Donald Trump, these cops, are doing. I'm not telling you guys that because I 100% disagree. I just want to make sure our people, our community, our children, our future is safe and secure. And right now, that's not it. That's not it. So as an individual, you have to check yourself. Should I be doing this? What can I do positive to make this situation better? That's what we need to be thinking about. You can't get through to these people with the things that we're doing, riots and things like that. Protesting is awesome if it's positive. You got to get through to these people here because they already think we as people are not intelligent. They already think that. And by us doing the crazy things that we're doing is proving their point even more. And I know for sure that we as people are very strong. But we've refused to come together as one. And we fight each other. We kill each other. We put down each other instead of uplifting each other. Bringing each other up. Grabbing each other by the hand and saying, we got this. Can't nobody break this. That's what we need to be doing. Not none of this killing, this unnecessary riots that's happening because you're doing nothing but making it worse for our people that's it because he didn't already gave the go ahead kill him use obsessive force if you would like do whatever you have to do to put them down like we're dogs and i know for sure i'm not a dog my mother name is juanita okay danelle moss okay I came from her and she came from Eleanor, okay? So there's no dogs. We're human beings. We're people. We have feelings, okay? Start using this, y'all. All right? Using this and it will come out much better than what we're doing now. But that's all I had to say, y'all. Back to the cooking. Back to the show. All right? I just, I just had to get that out because I truly am hurt by the things that I'm seeing. And I know we can do better. We can do much better. All right, just keep that in mind. Okay guys, so I just took it out the oven. As you see, the steam is still very, very alive there. Whew. So, this is what we have guys. We're done. It looks amazing smells even better oh my gosh i wish you guys could smell what is going on in this kitchen right now look at that guys oh my goodness oh so good so good we are going to go into plating all right now i do encourage you guys if you are not eating dinner right away to let this rest for a good 
20 minutes just so you don't burn the roof of your mouth but if not i mean dig right in if you would like go ahead get y'all some get you some mm. all right so let's go into this plating y'all and there we have it guys our finished product all right our stuffed shells with ricotta mozzarella parmesan and spinach with a pepper and sausage pasta sauce and i toasted up some little baguettes with olive oil basil garlic and some um fresh parmesan and a pitcher will be right about now. And we're back. So, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so every time I drop a video, you'll be notified. Keep cooking and y'all stay blessed out here. Please be smart. Think smart. I know y'all can do it. I do. And if you are new to the family, welcome. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you are our OG to this family, hey y'all. How y'all doing? Love y'all. Chef King Nails is out.